I'm Justin Katz with the Ocean State Current. For the third year in a row last month, the budget that I'd submitted for the financial town referendum that sets Tiverton's annual budget won with a strong majority of votes. That makes three years with tax increases under 1%. With the General Assembly passing its budget last week, I've gotten to wondering if there are any lessons for the state from my local activities. The key one is that the ability of electors in town to submit budgets directly to voters has empowered taxpayers to set a bottom line. Imagine the power that ability would give at the state level. One lesson that struck me like a bolt, although it should have been obvious for years, came from an unsigned editorial in the Seconet Times newspaper locally. The editor wrote, of course voters flock to the bargain rate. But if it's so obvious that taxpayers want to pay less, shouldn't town officials have kept their budget down in the first place? It's as if the common thinking in Rhode Island, government and in the media, is that government officials' job is to trick or coerce people into paying more in taxes than they would if they had a choice. Is that what we've come to as a state and as a nation? The reality is that voters will not always flock to a lower number. The rules of incentives and politics apply. If Tiverton's taxes were lower, it would take somebody more extreme than I am to step forward and make additional reductions. To find it worth his or her time to put a budget together, advocate for it, take the heat that you do from local opposition. The voters too would have to decide if it's worth their time to vote. And yes, most of us actually do care about our community and want to be wise about local government operations. I'll tell you this, being involved locally and talking to people, I've been struck by how firmly they know they're not getting value for their money. It'd be more true to say that they know they're being abused, that the game is rigged so that services they do want for themselves and for their neighbors are a package deal with millions of dollars of corruption and giveaways. This year, Tiverton voters rejected an obnoxious request for 3.5% increase in taxes, even though the economy is sputtering and value, property values have, have barely budged. The governor's budget request wasn't much better, around a 3% increase, depending what you include. The way the state budget process works, a massive document appears at the Finan uh, House Finance Committee and it's passed immediately with no testimony. In short order, the House passes it and then the Senate passes it and then the governor signs it. And the public, by design, has almost no time to digest the budget and then express their preferences to their representatives. And frankly, most of the representatives have no intention of bucking legislative leaders anyway. We're not part of this game. Imagine, though, if Rhode Islanders really did have a say, like we do in Tiverton, what do you suppose the result would be? I'm Justin Katz with the Ocean State Current.